Hey everyone, so I've got another TV show to talk to you about today and this is I've Never Seen a Star Wars. Now apparently this was a programme in about 2009 but I hadn't, I hadn't really heard of it. But it was on, on, I think it was on Boxing Day or possibly the day after Boxing Day, um, presented by Joe Brand. And in this half hour programme she talks to Stephen Fry and they talk about tasks he had been set um, out with that half an hour. And basically he gets to try things he's never tried before, which is what my life is all about. I live for experience, that's kind of my little tagline if you like. On my website I have a bucket list of all the things I want to do. And it's kind of like that, you know, trying things you've never tried that a lot of people have tried or, you know, significant things in life that you should be trying. Um, the first thing I want to say about this, I have looked at the um, list on Wikipedia of people from the other series. None of them really interest me, so I think what made this golden was the fact that it was A, presented by Joe Brand, and B, it was Stephen Fry. Both are hilarious and fantastic. Had it been two random people, the show probably wouldn't have had the same effect to it. Because you're looking at Stephen Fry, this exceedingly intellectual person who is not on the same level as your sort of normal working class people who do these things on a daily basis, which you'll see what they are when I tell you them. So when you get that aspect there, it's fine, but if you just picked up some guy off the street and said, we're going to make you do these the element wouldn't be there. Not that I'm saying the celebrities from the original series are guys off the street, but I'm sort of being hyperbolic here. Okay, so the four things that happened within half an hour, he got a piercing, um, he had to construct a flat pack desk, um, he walked on fools and horses and he went and did a trainee boxing thing. Okay, piercing was very, very weird. I do not like him with a piercing, I'm glad that didn't last. But it was very interesting to see that. Um, I think everybody, you know, I, I got my my tattoo, I don't know if you can you can see that there. Not because I'm a tattoo fiend, but because I wanted the experience. I have my ears pierced already. And I think that is something everybody should experience, that sort of self-induced pain. I think it's, it's quite nice, um, in a weird way. So I'm, I'm pleased he got that done, that was very interesting to watch. Constructing a flat pack, I have kind of done before. I've done it with somebody else, you know, like I've helped people make desks and drawers out of Ikea box sets or Argos sort of sets. Um, it was very, very entertaining to see him do that. I think he coped quite well. Um, considering he'd never done it before, I think he did quite well. Uh, the watching Only Fools and Horses is another one of those things which is seems quite basic, but it's very interesting. And I've never seen an episode of Only Fools and Horses. I've seen clips. I know what it's about, but I've never sat and watched an entire episode. But I've never seen, just as the title suggests, I've never seen Star Wars. Never watched an entire episode of Star Wars, nor have I watched Star Trek, or quite a lot of programs. Actually, there are quite a lot of much loved, fantastic the world's greatest TV programs. There's a really weird bird hopping on the wall. I'm so easily distracted. There are a lot of programs I haven't watched, which I probably should have watched. Um, it was quite comforting to know that one of TV's greatest personalities, that is Stephen Fry, hadn't seen one of the world's greatest programs. So I'm, you know, I'm quite happy with that. It was interesting, yeah. Now I'm going to have to go and watch Only Fools and Horses. And also boxing. He got to go into boxing and do some sort of training stuff. Not something I'd personally want to do, but it was interesting to see and it was nice to see how his reactions were and that was really good. So in all, the half an hour programme was highly entertaining, absolutely fantastic and really thought provoking and I absolutely loved it and I could not be more happy with it. I was glued to the screen. Plus Joe Brandt was hilarious talking about chips. I love her. She is brilliant. As I said, I'm not really bothered about the other people in the first series, but I'm going to see if I can get hold of it just because I want some ideas for my own bucket list. If you have any ideas for me, let me know. I'm willing to add anything as long as I think it'd be worthwhile. I'm going to watch the other series, and I think once I've watched it all, if I can find it somewhere, then I will maybe review it and let you know if it's worth watching, but this is definitely worth watching. Go and head to BBC iPlayer and check it out. You will love it, I promise you, it is great. Please feel free to leave comments, let me know your thoughts. That's it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!